On December 14th of this year, the FCC committee decided to change the t regulations of internet service providers from Title II regulations to Title II. Now, this is more commonly known as repealing net neutrality, which is what they did. Now, in case you aren't in the know, and you don't know what net neutrality is, it is basically that I, internet service providers like Comcast, Time Warner Cable, and Verizon can't or can't throttle your internet speeds or change the internet speeds of different data because they want to. They must treat all data the same, all information the same on the internet. However, they have changed with the regulations being changed to Title I, they have the internet service providers have the ability to change the speeds of different people and it'll make it to where you have to pay to get the same speeds for different things. As long as they just be open about it. Now, this is a really bad thing. And this can have an effect on many, many things. But this is a gaming channel, so I will focus on the things that... As far as gaming games. Now, first thing that comes to mind, for me at least, is that you could end up paying more for Xbox Live, PlayStation Plus, and even Steam, which is right now just a minimum... It just has a minimum requirement. These are things that are heavily used and are only three things that if they charged more to have to be used people would have no other alternatives and is almost certainly going to be capitalized on by different companies it's only a matter of time before one internet service provider does it and all of them are going to do, do that now when they do it only one of them when that day comes it knowing PlayStation and knowing Microsoft and knowing Sony, they're going to charge you more. They're going to make you charge more. I don't know how Valve will act. They may make it to where you have to pay a certain amount per month. Um, it's very plausible. Um, and I already know that Microsoft and Sony are going to charge you more. They're going to act, make it act like they have to keep it up. Now they do get sixty dollars a month from people and. That goes towards nothing. I think I've addressed that on this channel before. And it's true, though. They don't actually contribute towards anything. Um, what? It, however, so technically they could just keep the money they did and they did cut their profits. But no, they're not going to cut their profits. They're going to raise the price. It may be very slight, but still, right now you're paying $60 a year as it is. You're probably going to end up paying 70 something dollars. Because I had imagined that one dollar per person is about where it's going to lie at. Um, and that could go for Steam. Steam could raise the minimum purchase requirements for a certain amount for account to be used. They may make it to where you have to pay a certain amount. And if there's no games that you want, you can just pay that money or something like that. I imagine that's what Valve will go with. They're a bit more transparent. They're on the PC platform. And they're just other. There are other alternatives. They don't have the advantage that Xbox and that Sony and PlayStation do uh, Sony and Play Sony and Microsoft have and they will have they don't have they have competition there are other oh sorry there are other places that, like Origin and um Origin and uh, uh I don't know the other ones I know there's Origin which is owned by EA goodness but yeah no doubt um all ways of playing online they're probably going to charge more because of that and um also you can end up having to another thing is you could end up paying more to play specific games to place on specific game servers which would be really bad because that could mean you could pay for a game and if you're on consoles you could play for the ability to play online and then you could have to pay for the ability to play that specific game. now granted xbox Microsoft and Sony can make it to where, hey, we're going to take our funds that we get from this, and we're going to pay the people, the developers of the game. You're go if you buy it, your subscription, the money will also go towards the specific games you play, so you won't have to pay more. Then it'll actually be like a, a reasonable subscription, and there'll actually be a reason to have those things existing. I mean, even though you know, originally it's not a good reason, but... They might do that, but you may end up, for computer games, um, you never know. They might make it to where you have to pay specific developers to play specific games. And um, 
also there are some companies that'll be able to take the hit that'll be able to just you know i'll sell i'll take the less profits you don't have to pay more to use to play my game it's fine guys it's fine there will be some companies like that there's companies big enough however the companies that aren't big enough for that are in the and this could be really bad this could be a huge hit to the gaming culture this could be a huge stopping force to the trend that we are starting to see today and that has been indie games starting to take over triple a games and as far as what i think i think triple a i think indie games will have a much harder time especially if they're online only they will have a much harder time keeping their games up just be keeping up the servers and having Com Comcast and Time Warner Cable and all of them, they are going to charge more, and we don't know if they're going to be able to pay it. There might be a lot less options as far as indie online shooters and all of that. For example, the game I'm playing now, even though it's a mobile game, they might not be able to keep up the servers. And I fear for that. No, I don't know how they actually the servers. Not 100% sure. So maybe they have a system where it's not like that. I don't know. I'm not very educated in this. So excuse me. But I mean, then again, there are some ways that people will be able to run. There's going to be a lot of indie games. Will In fact, another thing this could kill. It's not an indie game. Battlefield 1942, I think it is. 1942, I think it is. It's on the first Battlefield game. And... EA or whoever rant made the game shut down the servers for it. However, the fans decided to get the servers up and running. And a lot of people really liked the game. And with all the neutrality coming up and going away and the fact that they can be charged for that, I don't know if they're going to have to have Kickstarters and they're going to have to have donations so they can run it. They probably already have people that donate and all that, but they're going to have to have a much bigger goal to be able to run it. And that'll be a huge community that'll d die out. And that could really affect the gaming industry as far as people that might have an idea or are working on something right now as that. They may have to abandon that, that idea. Something that could have been a really, really fun game that you might have liked may no longer exist in the universe we're in because of that vote. Now, however... That was an FCC committee that voted for that, and I'm going to be very rushed with this. I don't have much more footage left. Oh, good boy. It's not over. Congress, and it has to get voted through with many other people. There's a lot more people that have to go through it. But it's not over. So I'm going... So I have about 10 seconds left to put my footage up. So thank you guys for watching. It's a short video, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.